If you have loose, vague or knocking steering, then we have the solution for 27 VW Audi Group vehicles. The complete list is at the end of the video. So if you're watching this video, you've probably had an issue with uh, a front wishbone uh, on your VAG vehicle. This bush is uh, quite an extensive failure. It's been used throughout the VAG range for multiple years and fits on so many different models. So we're just going to run through basically why it fails and the solution we've came up with to fix it. So this is an OEM wishbone uh, and there's this rubber bush at the back here. This is the one that fails. And as you can see, it's in an aluminium housing. The aluminium housing is absolutely perfect. There's nothing ever wrong with it. It's the bush inside it that fails. This bush basically uh, acts as a rotation device and it goes in this direction. And that's all it ever does all day long to give you that wishbone travel. What happens with it is it has some small voids around there which allow it to give it the twist. But what happens is the rubber actually starts to crack and sometimes delaminate, causing basically a really loose steering feel within the car. It can also cause some clunking and banging as the wishbone moves around as well. So it flings out your geometry and it just feels really horrible. So you can actually see this one has started to slightly crack open on one side and you can hear it doesn't make the nicest of noises either. We do have a bush here that's actually came off a vehicle that has started to fail. And you can actually see it starting to crack and delaminate down the center tube and pull away. So if this was to keep going, the whole bush would end up just, the inner tube would basically just be rotating on itself and not giving any stability to the car whatsoever. So as a solution, we've came up with a bush that has a two-piece bush, which fits into the original aluminium housing. Because I said, these are absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. So we have an outer case that gets pressed in first and an inner part that then gets pushed in and they rotate within themselves. So we're going to fit this in here and just demonstrate how it all goes together. So we've now got our outer bush fitted into the aluminium housing. We do actually have a full fitting video on this bush on our YouTube channel, but we're really just showing you what differences this bush is going to make to your car. So that's it in the housing there. This one simply fits onto the end here and this just slides on like so. So in this case now, we have a really nice smooth rotation, allowing your wishbone to go through its, um, its full travel seamlessly. At the same time, because of the hardness of the material, what we're doing is reducing the ability for the wishbone to actually move in this radial direction, which actually gives better steering uh, input and control. Whereas the old one has a lot of movement again, that can actually adjust toe when the car is going through a corner. And because this is a bit stiffer in this radial direction, you know, you should get a lot better steering response. Due to the hardness of the bush actually inside though, it's still actually quite a soft bush on the inside. Comfort isn't compromised in it either.